Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company and my best friend Mark is behind the uh, camera. He's flown down from Edinburgh today and we've seen three properties so far and gone for cake, which is <laughs> which is kind of a nice thing to do with property. Um, now Mark was one of my very first investors, mainly because he kind of had to be, I have to say. <laughs> He's making faces behind the camera. Um, and that was fantastic. So it's been really good fun and we were really good friends. It's been really good fun having him Give me advice and tell me what to do from afar. So what we're doing here is we are renovating. This is, um, I've owned this property for about three or four years now and as I said in another video, this was one of the properties where I bought it, I think about 162, 500. It was actually um, a repossession which was sold because it was subject to the proceeds of crime. So I believe, but I don't know, that the people that owned this were in quite a big drugs ring and eight of them went to jail. So all the legal paperwork was, was kind of fascinating. Um, but I was a bit nervous when I first bought it, just in case, you know, they went, excuse me, that's my house. Anyway, I bought it as a repossession. It was actually in really good working order, but not kind of quite what you might call my standard, but nonetheless very good. So I spent a small amount of money, got it rented out for three or four years. We've now served notice, our tenants, we've explained that we're doing too big a refurb for it to be comfortable for the tenants, but also um, we were quite below market rent value. So we're gonna add about um, 600 pounds, I think, per month uh, extra, or six, even more actually. But anyway, we're adding a significant amount of money per month uh, on the rental once we've renovated it. But I just wanted to do a little bit of memory lane with you guys here. When we started The Good Property Company, it was a kitchen table startup in my kitchen table and Ash worked on the dining room table. We were brass. My, my recruitment strategy to Ash was, what's the lowest amount of money you could possibly live on? Which I thought was a great recruitment strategy at the time, but it worked. As in, it was truthful. It was a startup company, so we only had a certain amount of money. So one of the things I did was I housed him in this house. So he had the top right, the top right bedroom, which of course you can't see because we're in the kitchen. And he lived in this house with four other sharers for about a year to a year and a half. And I gave him very, very low rent. But when you're a property developer and you're a property investor and you're starting up, there are all sorts of ways you can allow people to benefit from working with you when maybe cash flow is quite tight, which it definitely was in the early days. So we're now coming down. Oh, and the bizarre thing was he painted his bedroom the exact same colour as I used to paint mine. And um, I'm 20 years older than him. So uh, you can tell we're kind of quite aligned. So it's kind of nice coming back here. We're now doing it trademark, Susanna Cole. I use the Metro tiles and I use grey grout because of course that's a bit trendy. And um, this is actually a new boiler, but obviously the lid is off at the moment and we're going to renovate it. And we are renovating the kitchen and painting throughout. New bathroom, new kitchen, painting all the bedrooms and Mark and I are here, lucky Mark, to do a furniture list because we're going to be buying the furniture. We'll be viewing the property next week, which you might be surprised about because we actually view properties. Yes, exactly. Have a look. <laughs> Dear tenant, would you like to live in this house? But what we do is we put photos of properties that we've already renovated because we've got such a renovation stream on the advert. The, the location is amazing. This is one of the hottest part of Bristol. And we actually get tenants signed up maybe two to three weeks in advance of the work finishing. So literally work finishes, photographer in, furniture in, tenant in, boom, in about 24 hours. It's quite tight, but then we meet with a builder once a week, uh, Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. just to check those kind of time frames. So he knows the pressure's on. So walk down memory lane, how to buy a property and how to recruit your team members and still give them great benefit when you don't have that much money to pay for them. And how sometimes you can buy a property early, don't do too much for a refurb and then do a larger refurb four years later when you've got more cash. Hopefully that's helpful to you. See you soon. Bye.